a South African medical and wellness company called Kaelo is rising and its partnership with Dischem resulted in the recent launch of Dischem Health, which is marketed as affordable medical cover for people who cannot afford the high fees of traditional private medical aids. Now, less than one in five South Africans are currently covered by traditional medical aids. And the company says uh, Discamp Health meets a need to provide quality and affordable primary health care for an underserved market. The launch comes after Discamp acquired 25% of Kaela Holdings last year, with Kaela administering Discamp Health. To discuss, we're now joined by the CEO of Kaela, John Judson. Uh, John, thank you for being with us. Uh, congratulations on the launch. In education, we often talk about this missing middle, and it sounds like you, you're aiming for a, a missing middle of sorts uh, in healthcare. Tell us more. Yeah, hi, Francis. Uh, thanks for having me. I think that is exactly right. Um, there's been a market that's been largely neglected by the private healthcare sector. Um, you know, 72% of the, um, the country relies on, on, the private, on the public sector for healthcare access. And only 15.2% of the of the country have access to a medical aid cover, um, although highly valuable, often often inaccessible. And we're looking to supply um, uh, affordable, accessible, highly valuable healthcare uh, insurance services to to the wider population. So this is medical insurance rather than a medical aid. It's also primary health care. Uh, tell us. What that is practically, what do you get, say, for, I think, 431 Rand, which is your core plan? Yes, it is different to medical aid. Medical aid is um, a very comprehensive uh, benefit and it comes with um, an expensive cost, but it's, it provides an, an excellent service for those who can afford it. Um, health insurance provides a more defined set of benefits um, where members can access a very wide network. Uh, in our case, we have over 9,000 providers in the network. So they're accessing private care uh, for a defined basket of, of benefits um, from primary health care day-to-day benefits all the way through to, to chronic disease cover to hospital-based care. So it, it is comprehensive, but it focuses on the key um, elements of health care uh, based on consumption data that, that we, we looked at. So we understand what people need um, most importantly, and that's how we built those baskets. So, um, you know, so if you have a bad it. cold, so, so you can now access a DISCIM clinic yeah. or, or a GP rather than standing in a long line at a public uh, clinic? Yeah, correct. I, I think there, there's two parts to it. You can access the day-to-day -day as and when you need it, um, either through through Dischem, which has uh, got a, a very uh, comprehensive network, or, or through our Prime Cure network, as I mentioned, of, of 9,000 providers, of which 3,000 are, are GPs. But importantly, it also allows you to get diagnosed for, for chronic disease, which means you get access to your, to your medication um, through, through Dischem. Uh, on a monthly basis, uh, it helps with, with, with that compliance element of chronic disease, which is important for, for the nation from a healthcare perspective. And it also provides in hospital cover, um, very importantly, when you don't have your own uh, voice or say you, ac you, you access private hospital cover through this benefit as well. So it is quite wide ranging all the way through the healthcare system. How, how big is your potential market? Do you think this is going to be affordable um, to, to that huge swath of people that you're talking about? Absolutely. You know, we, you mentioned our price points earlier. Um, that is for the, the comprehensive cover. We, we're entering the market at a price point of 185 to make it absolutely affordable for, for core elements um, in, the, in the health insurance uh, uh, you know, product provision. And, and we think that there's a, a very large population that is currently sitting outside the private healthcare sector that we could bring into it uh, through affordable, sustainable, highly valuable healthcare that, that, that produces a health outcome. So that's important for, for, for people on an individual level, but it is, it is also important for, for the, wider, the wider good of the nation. I mean, as I mentioned, 72% uh, of, of, of the country uh, currently are outside of the system. So, and so we John, believe that... If, if you're talking to... about doing good, <laughs> in 2020, Dischem itself was found guilty of excessive uh, mask pricing. In, in 2019, the Competition Commission found that people were paying more for private health care and over time, in fact, generally getting less benefits. 
in this environment where people are a little suspicious of, of the benefits and profits being made by medical firms, what can you tell us about Caelo's ethos? How, how do you plan to conduct this business? I think there's two there's two sides to that I think Kylo has you know I can say that Kylo has had an ethos of providing high valuable care um, for over 15 years and and doing so through through putting the member first so providing access through our wide network at affordable rates but on a sustainable basis and and we've got proof of that through through the 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 years we've been doing it I think that from but but you know we we can't be our own watchdog. I think that the the sector, the health insurance sector, is very well regulated. Um, the Council of Medical Schemes are are part of the regulatory um, environment. The Financial Sector Conduct Authority um, have a, a very close uh, eye on how health insurance and health insurers conduct themselves. So you know customers um, can be sure that the regulators are involved. And in our own environment. From a Kylo perspective, we, we're the administrator through through Kylo. We have Prime Cure, which is a managed care organisation. So, you know, people getting private sector level cover, and and we're writing into Centrique, which is the insurance um, license. So, th there's a it's a very deep um, provision from an insurance perspective that members have access to. It's not just a one dimensional play. And finally, is it simple to understand? Uh, we always complain about uh, contracts, about cover, about not understanding um, cell phone contracts, your medical aid. Will, will this be really simple to understand uh, for people in the stores to know what they're getting? It will be. Um, that's something we've, we've taken a lot of time to, to work on, um, making it easy. Healthcare is, is difficult to understand um, by nature. So making access to healthcare through this insurance product easy is is a key thing we've we've done. So very easy to understand what you're getting for what you're paying, and Discam has been remarkable in the role that they've played to help us, um, you know, bring the message to to the wider cons consumers. Uh, now making it easier to understand and making it more accessible. At the moment, there's only a two percent penetration of health insurance in the country, and we believe that they they're, they're extending that will be meaningful to the, the wider healthcare outcomes for the nation. So Discam have played an incredibly strong role in helping educate the, the, the wider market around the benefits of health insurance. All right, thank you for your time. That was the CEO of Kaelo, John Judson, uh, talking about this new range of products under Discam Health. Right to this developing story, 14 billion rand had been spent to give South Africans higher speed data services. The communications regulator, ICASA, has confirmed what it calls the successful conclusion of a radio frequency spectrum auction today. Mobile service and data providers have been crying out for more spectrum because it allows them to offer higher speeds and will aid the move towards 5G. Bidders in the auction included South Sea, Liquid Technologies, MTN, Rain Networks, Telcom and Vodacom. ICASA says it collected more than 14.4 billion rand in revenue that will go into the state's coffers.